Celeb Secrets is hanging out with Megan Roth today. What's going on? How are you doing? I'm doing well, thanks. Oh, of course. Now, next week is really, really exciting for you because your episode of Accused is coming out, which, by the way, I did get to watch last night, and it is crazy. <laughs> so maybe give me a little bit of the backstory, how you got approached um, for this role, because I know the series follows different stories and has a different cast every episode. Yeah, I mean, I, I was sent the script from my, from my team and immediately responded to it. I responded to, first and foremost, the, the, the crew of people that were behind it um i love sony i love fox i've worked with both of them before and was excited about an opportunity to, to do it again but also the creators behind the show howard gordon and, and the long list of producers and talented people behind it was so appealing um and just uh to do this kind of crime anthology was really interesting that like essentially every episode is a little movie is a very exciting thing for an actor to be able to do and really dive into. Uh, it's not something you see so much on, on TV. So yeah, it was exciting. I read the script and really liked it, responded to the character and uh, left for Toronto for <laughs> over two weeks of night shoots. <laughs> wow, crazy. Yeah. So you need to fill us in um, all about your character and without giving too much away, um, the storyline that people could expect from your episode. Basically, uh, this story, Morgan's story, is about um, kind of a um, a kind, open-hearted teacher who uh, is in a pretty toxic relationship with her husband. Yeah. Um, and she asks him for a divorce and is then basically framed for a crime. Yes. Yeah. So the, so the episode's told through flashbacks. Um where the audience can slowly discover how she ended up in the situation that she's in. Oh, totally. And I feel like it's such a relatable story for so many people. So what was that like going into the character and maybe prepping and things like that? Yeah, I think it's it, it's very, it was a very, very intense shoot emotionally. Um, and I didn't even realize how much so until I was actually <laughs> there on set um, with Chris Gorham across from me who was such a nice, lovely man, but also a terrible, terrible person in the character that he plays. Uh, so it became very real when I was on set. I think also the nature of shooting entirely at night um, throughout the night really added to, uh, the stakes just became higher because you're so emotionally raw. Yeah. Um, so it was, yeah, it was, it was a very, very intense shoot. It was a very sensitive subject matter, I think. You know, it's something that a lot of people find themselves in those kind of relationships. And uh, I hope we were able to breathe some truth into it. Absolutely. And it's crazy to see, like, at the end of it, it looks like there's a cliffhanger, like that there could be more to the story. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I think, you know, that wasn't part of the original script. Okay. Um, and they, they made those changes in... Uh, later drafts and i it, it's so it's so funny because I, I don't know if if the other episodes end in that way but it definitely implies that there might be a part two to this story which is so funny and hilarious and uh <laughs> exciting because without giving anything away uh, th the way it ends is quite shocking so oh no totally like i said i saw it and i was like okay well are they going to continue it are they not so curious for you um if the story were to continue where would you like to see everything <laughs> unfold like in your i i honestly have no idea because i mean we were we were talking about it when we were filming it the ending is that like, what would part two even, it would be an entirely different, it would be an entirely different show is more kind of like a manhunt maybe. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Now we talked a little bit about the dynamic that you had on set. Um, can you touch a little bit more on that? Maybe like your favorite memories with working with the other cast members? Yeah, I, honestly, the best part was was working with, with these guys. Um, I had known Chris Gorham for uh, 10 years, not well, but we'd worked together a really, really long time ago, we actually were, we were, we did like a panel on a, on a game show, I think it was. Um, and that's where we first met. He says that it was just one day of filming. I could have sworn it was a full week. It felt, <laughs> that's what it's like being around Chris Gore. It feels like a full week. Okay. 
<laughs> um, no, but he's so, so lovely and the opposite of the character he plays. So it was so nice to just hang out with him. And James Udom, who plays uh, m uh, another one of my co-stars in this episode is so fantastic. We didn't know him before, but he uh, just the nicest, most fun person, such a talented actor. And so honestly, the best part was was getting to hang out with these people. Oh yeah, and you know, the chemistry that you talk about Offset kind of does show on screen. Cause there are some shows you see like, oh, like they're acting, but no, when I watch it, I'm like, this feels so real and intense. So great job to you guys for um, portraying it very well. Thank you. Of course, of course. And was there anything, cause we, you know, like I said, I did see it, we talked about it. This was a very intense project for you. Did it challenge you as an actress? And if so, like, what did you learn about yourself during this process? Absolutely, it was so challenging. And again, I don't think I realized how challenging it would be until I was there doing it. Um, it's just a hard thing to, it's the stakes are so high on this show. And so it's a very hard thing to maintain that level of, um, emotional presence, I would say, while you're filming. Uh, I think that I got very lucky because I was in really, really good hands. Uh, Mylon Chaloff, our director, was so incredible. He's an actor himself, so he really uh, was able to guide us through the process. Uh, and I definitely, definitely feel lucky having someone like that kind of leading the pack because when you when you jump into a production, you know it's a, it's a pretty quick shoot, and so you have to like be emotionally ready right away. You don't have tons of time to shoot everything. So I, basically, I was I just felt really lucky that I, I I could trust in the person that was guiding me, which isn't always the case. Yeah, no, totally. And I was watching some of the promos um, on Fox, and it says that this is one of the most popular shows out there right now on television. So that's got to be really exciting for you when your episode comes out on Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, it's so, I mean, I also like, I saw the trailers for the show, it looks so good. I mean, it's 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 really nice to be a part of something that's, you know, the, the quality and caliber of, of the talent involved is so high. Um, in all the episodes too, the actors that they have involved, the directors are people that I admire and whose work I really love. So it's just nice to be like on that list of people. <laughs> <laughs> right. So you're going to have like a little watch party when it comes out. Like, what are you going to be doing? I'm not, I'm, I can't, be, I'm traveling and I'm actually going to be working. So I, I don't think okay. I'll see it, but I'll watch it, you know the next day on TV. Eventually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, um, we are celeb secrets, Megan. So I need to know some like behind the scenes secrets from set that we wouldn't know just by watching your episode. There was Canadian Thanksgiving while we were shooting. Okay. So I do remember, like at, at, at that time of night for me, it's really important to like, when you, when you break for lunch, what you eat like really matters because it needs to sustain you for the rest of the night until the wee hours of the morning. And then one, of course on Canadian Thanksgiving, they served us Thanksgiving dinner. And I was so hungry. I mean, I ate all of it and was like in a turkey coma for the rest of the night. I mean, it's not like a cute little story. It's just like, I, I was in full survival mode to get through this shoot. <laughs> no, I love it. That had to be cool, like to celebrate Canadian Thanksgiving on set though. Yeah, 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 it was fun. I'm Canadian too. So I was like, I'm home. Yeah. <laughs> I love that.